Hello everyone, I am back. This is Food Drama Rob again. And we're gonna re-energize, re-resurrect this channel. And we, in the beginning we first put this channel out to see how it would see how it would um, see how it would it progress. Um, most of you just liked the one video about the rendering plants and 125,000 people watched that and we didn't even promote the channel really. But that 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 um, that video sparked a lot of crazy drama, good food drama, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit before I go into what we're going to continue to talk about on this channel. So, I mean, it's been over a year. So, let's look at this rendering plant, which people were just—I mean, the comments are just evil. But that's okay because. The food industry is evil. These people are liars, manipulators. They don't care about any of you. And you're defending them. Saying that I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to address a little bit of this. Because a lot of the people making comments are just stupid ignorant. Haven't done any research. I've been at this game over 30 years. I've studied every way how they... They make our foods, our so-called food. And the majority of people don't have any idea what the hell's going on here. Now, some one gentleman said to me, well, they introduced this rendering, all these, all these animals, back and they feed it to the cattle. Are you freaking kidding me? Your health is determined by what the animals eat, you fucking idiots. Excuse my French. I mean, it's ridiculous. So if they're feeding it to the cattle and the chickens, they don't even eat this food. They eat grass, idiots. What they do is they separate the protein, they dry it out, and they take the fat, they separate the fat, and they reintroduce it back into society. You don't want to hear that. So you tell me what they do with it. And if you tell me it's going back to the animals, then it's back in society. These people throw nothing out. They give it to the dogs also. It goes into your cosmetics. Your cosmetics... It's the cosmetics, lotions, lipstick, all that stuff. That's where it goes. So it goes back into your body. This is a billion dollar industry. They don't just put it underground. It's just ridiculous. Wake up. The food industry, they are liars. Now let's get into, since it's election year, let's get into a little bit of politics. The government, Democrats and Republicans, is the problem. They allow the, the food industry to do whatever they want. They pass laws and they and they distract you with all this nonsense that goes on on TV while they're allowing this stuff on our food. This is the real food drama right here. They do everything behind your back. And they use propaganda to distract you. And then you wonder why everybody's sick. But the main thing is obesity. See, once you're obese, then they own your health. They know this. They know this. So they put as much chemicals in the foods to make everybody overweight. Everybody's like, well, why am I so overweight? Well, it's, it's the processing of the foods. This is the real food drama. That's why you watch this channel. So back to the back to the government, the blue and the black, excuse me, the blue and the red, the Democrats and the Republicans. They allow this drama in your foods again. And people are just so dumbed down and can't even think for themselves anymore. How do you not know that there's a problem with the foods and you keep eating it? Well, you eat it because it's addicting, but I'm going to show you exactly what they're doing. Exactly what they're doing. 
all the foods on the supermarket, 90% of the foods in the supermarket are made of the same things. It's the same ingredients. It's a formula. And the Democrats and Republicans allow them to keep this formula going. That's what's going on. And if you don't, you don't think what's going on, then look it up yourself. Because I already looked it up and did research. I need to see proof. I have proof what they're doing. Look at the data. Diabetes. Obesity. Cancer. Strokes. Migraines. All this stuff. It's all caused by your food. You freaking people. Those people that are that, that were acting stupid on uh, with their comments. <laughs> this is what they do. You don't get mad at me. You get mad at them. I'm just pointing it out to you. The food industry has no boundaries. You understand this? They have no boundaries and they have absolutely no empathy about you. They don't care. And boundaries, they just keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And there's two particular ingredients we're going to talk about. There's a lot of them, but we're going to start out with just two of them. And I'm going to show you what they're doing. To make you sick and overweight. And that's right. They do put that food back into the... Back into the... Uh, um, wherever it's going. So you better believe that. Most of you just can't even believe that these people are that evil. That's really what it is. You just don't think these people are that evil. Well, they are. They are that evil. They don't care. So back to these two, we're going to do, we're going to look at two ingredients. As we resurrect this channel, we're going to look at monosodium glutamate and high fructose corn syrup. Those are the two biggest two worst ingredients that is causing obesity. So we're going to go towards obesity because once obesity comes around, then your health deteriorates. That's how they get you. Even though obviously not all people are are um, uh, th that there are some people that are obese that are not obese that are sick. But the majority of the people in the United States and the world, once they're sick, bad things happen. So in the two biggest problems and drama in the foods is monosodium glutamate and high fructose corn syrup. And, in, and those things, the high fructose corn syrups and all your sodas, Pepsi, Coke, Sprite, all of them. And you are a fool if you eat this stuff after I talk to you. You're a fool. And then monosodium glutamate. That this is how they make you overweight. They feed mice model sodium glutamate when they're studying obesity to make them overweight and they put it in your foods. And it's in everything. Everything. So what they do is because they know nutritionists like me are following them, they just change the names. That's what they do. So you go in there, you go, what is this? It's, it's still model sodium glutamate. They just change the names. I'm going to show you what they do. They do exact, they do an exact same thing with high fructose corn syrup. They're just taking up the high fructose and just calling it corn syrup. This is, this is how deceptive these people are. And they have a, their own language. It's their own language. When you free the ingredients, the majority of people don't even know what they're talking about. But I know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go over this stuff with you. So this, this, this channel is going to be about heavy duty food drama. We're going in there. We didn't even talk about natural flavors, artificial flavors, dyes. All that stuff is killing your kids you think it's cute 
You think it's cute, huh? These kids are sick. All, most of them are overweight. Have bad digestions. Don't go to the bathroom. It's what they're putting in the food. They don't care about the kids. They don't give a damn about the kids, man. I was just in the store before we uh, made this video and I'm looking at some of these products. Every soda has basically the same ingredients. They all have the same ingredients. <laughs> I put those corners here, carbonated water, basically. And phosphoric acid, citric, it's all the same stuff. It's a formula. I looked at Doritos and Cheetos. Believe it or not, they, they have they basically have the same ingredients. I mean, they just post monosodium glutamate right in there. Say here, it's in here. We don't care, you dummies ain't gonna you're not going to uh you're not you're just gonna continue to watch it because we'll just get entertainers and and uh stars, athletes and everything to endorse it, and your dumb ass will go right in there and buy it. Cause they know we're so dumbed down. We don't even we can't even think for ourselves. All you gotta do is just look at a label and look them up. That's not that difficult, bruh. Type it in your phone. Look at the ingredient. Type it in your phone. You just don't want to know. You just don't want to know. Really. You really just don't want to know. I like to know. My family likes to know. Most people don't want to know. They'd rather go to the doctor and take pills and be overweight. That's basically really what it is. You know, they, they might try, but the weight loss company is not telling you what's really the problem. It's not calories, it's not exercise. Even though we should exercise more. It's what they're putting in the foods. It's food drama. So that's my welcoming rant. I'm back. And we're going to be talking about it. I do do some other channels. I'm going to put more time into this. I think it's going to work. Just keep listening. Because for those of you in the United States, right? Oh, so many of these ingredients that I'm talking about are banned in other countries. That's how much they care about you here. Your government. Trump and Biden. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. These guys don't care. It's all distraction. They're killing all of you. All of us. Poisoning of the foods. Look, there's other things going on like finances, but the foods. You know, it's funny when they did the shutdown, like I guess it was like April or something, April, May, everybody was quarantined, whatever the hell was going on. And then they kept the fast foods open. And this is where all this drama is, it's in the fast foods. And the supermarkets. Fast food stayed open. That stuff is not even food. You think it's food. If they're playing tricks on your mind, you think it's good, huh? It messes with you. Gets you addicted. It calls you. But anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Just keep uh, keep looking out. I get a little schedule for you. I don't have a schedule yet on how many videos. I'll be popping two or three out a week. We're going to talk about some things. Might make people upset again. But that's all right. I don't really care. For those who want to know what the hell is going on around here. All right? I always tell everybody. See you on the next video. Everybody enjoy their blessings. Stay safe. I'm out.